Hi, I'm Svede. We have just released CC1350, a dual band wireless MCU that can do both sub 1 GHz and 2.4 GHz. Dual band operation opens up for new features and applications, and in this video we will look at a few use cases. Let's consider a house where you have three detectors. These could be any type of detec detector, like a smoke detector or a CO2 detector. They are connected to a gateway using a simple star network. The link operates at sub 1 GHz as this gives better indoor coverage compared to 2.4 GHz due to less attenuation through walls and ceilings and also because sub 1 is better at bending corners. With a dual band device it is possible to do an over the air firmware upgrade using BLE connection. The high data rate of BLE will reduce the um, power consumption and no special tools are required. You can simply use your cell phone or a tablet to update these detectors using 2.4 gig. After the upgrade at 2.4 the device operates back on the sub 1 gigahertz network. What if you want to add one more detector to your network. How do you get it to join the network? Well, you can set it up uh, using the BLE connection to uh, give credentials and after the commissioning is completed the device or detector will take part in the sub 1 gig network. These detectors might not have a display but with the dual band capability, you can use a cell phone or a tablet as a remote display. Using Billy advertisement as uplink channel, you can read off each node individually and display uh, the information on your cell phone. Now, instead of sending the detector information as part of uh, Billy advertisement payload, you can get the data from the internet. Using dual band operation, you can have the detector ID sent to your cell phone. So when you enter a room and get in close proximity to any of these uh, detectors, you will receive a BLE advertisement with a unique user ID while concurrently operating in the sub 1 gig network. The app running on your cell phone can then get information from the detector with relevant ID from the internet. One more example is remote beacon management. Assume you have a shop or a museum where you have a lot of nodes sending out beacons, sending out information about prices or about the exhibits. So 2.4 gigahertz beacons. Now, in order to update these beacons, you can use the dual band capability of the 1350. So you will have one end node which updates each and every node using the sub 1 gigahertz link. TI has just released the uh, CC3050 wireless MCU which can do both sub 1 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz. Please visit the uh, CC1350 webpage ti.com/longrange for more information. Thank you for watching.